my son, Bo, will be getting married soon. And uh, his bride-to-be wants to meet with us. I need your guys' help. How much you need? Now, the first thing that comes out of the parent's mind is, well, it's more money. <laughs> I don't need no money. Oh, yeah, that's a plus. I want you guys to make a moonshine for mine and Bo's wedding toast. Hmm. Hmm. No, it's something a little more special than money. Tater wants to have a special liquor. Let me ask you something. Is this a surprise for Bo? Does he yes. know? So we don't need so we to don't, need don't tell, tell Bo. Yeah, we can make you some liquor. You want a rye liquor that's got a little spice to it? No. <laughs> A good hearty corn liquor? No. I want it to be something completely different than what you guys have done. Uh, if it's a good drink of liquor, Bo's on board. But you've got his bride to be, you've got to satisfy. Do you have any idea what you want it to taste like? Something sweet. You want it to taste like a wedding cake? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, yeah, we can make it taste like a wedding cake. Come on now. Of course we can. She sounds a little bit skeptical to me. If we can make it taste like wedding cake, you'll be OK with that. Do you really think you can do that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's doable. I'm with him. He's the mash man. If he says wedding cake liquor, then we'll try it. Wedding cake liquor it is. OK. Uh, Bye, guys. Smells good in here, don't it? Smells like we're in the right spot. I've got a boy fixing to get married, and uh, they want a special liquor for their reception toast. So got to thinking, well, what hadn't been done? I don't know that anybody's ever made liquor out of wedding cake. How do, ma'am? Oh. Howdy. We're looking for wedding cake. We don't want it for oh, us. Yeah, it ain't for us. us. Okay. So. No, 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 for what date? Uh, today's? Well, I didn't know that you had to order wedding cake in advance. We're just looking for around eight pounds of cake. Pounds? Yeah. OK. <laughs> I've got some yesterday's news in the back. OK. Oh, we're all about yesterday's news. We ain't had nothing fresh in our lives. As long as they're good and sweet. Look here at these little fellas. Those are cake balls. We'll take some of them. All right. You got cupcakes? Sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've done the math, and we need about eight pounds of cake. Here's what I have oh. left from yesterday. You don't have to separate it. You can just put okay. it all in a box. Oh, OK. Let cool. me taste them little crumbs okay, right there. Please. It won't hurt me, will it? No. Nope. Well, there's mine right over there. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, that's an eight pound of cake. Bye, thank you. Bye. Well, now comes the point we have to mash in and turn into some fine liquor. What kind of liquor it will make, if any, we have no idea. But, you know, we got some really good cakes. People pays money to see dancing water like that. Looks just like that big pond out there in Las Vegas, don't it? I don't know. I ain't never been. Here, hold this, and I'll light that furnace. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Are you going to melt that sugar before you put the cake in it? No, we just put it all together. This is going to be craziest damn liquor we've ever made. We found some just really sweet, really good, good cupcakes, cake, whatnot. You want any of this before it goes? Quit eating all the damn cake. And, you know, we probably gained about eight pounds a piece in there just to sniffing and sampling and tasting. There. Thank you. If you get any more, you're going to get it out of there. Woo! I won't watch you start it up. Looks like a clown puke, don't it? <laughs> don't some taste that. Mother of pearl. <laughs> That's delicious. That's the best tasting mash I've ever tasted in my life. Well, let's just put it in a jar like it is. And put a little liquor in there with it. Add some liquor in it. It can be the finest tasting mash in the world. But honestly, to you put it in a still and cook it up, you know, there's no way of knowing if it will be good liquor or not. We can't leave this mash. The buyers can't get in them toast, but he'll pick that up and dump it out lickety-split. Let's put it back in the truck and take it with us. You know, I can't think of anything else that'd be a clear recipe for disaster than to leave this mash in here. If there's a buyer within 20 miles of here, he'll be here in a few hours. Hmm. Oh. Damn if it don't look special, don't it? It does. It's potent, ain't it? I can smell it all the way up here. You know, this is something we've never done before. We've never done anything with cake. It's kind of off-the-wall idea, ain't it? It's a roll the dice. We don't know. 
It's ready to run. I say, let's put us a little liquor still together. We're going to use one of the little squatty potty stills, as we call them. This is a small run, so we're dragging one of our little stills out here and running it. Yonder it comes. You know, we've made moonshine out of everything, but not cakes. You know, this is a new ball game for us. We know it'll make liquor, but we ain't got no idea what it'll be like. It's your turn to blow up. I this and I don't think will blow us up. You know, we always tease each other and say, whose time is it to blow up? I said, well, it's mine. Ain't no way this one will gonna hurt me. You could actually do it all yourself. I'm gonna go over here in a safe spot, so you won't blame me if any of this goes wrong. Thought you said it wouldn't do that. What's wrong? Look at that. These propane burners, they'll, they'll blow out on you every once in a while. You gotta exercise caution. This, these things will hurt you. Well, look at that. Smell you, right what do you, my eyebrows gone? What eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> I think that I was opening the valve the wrong direction and I was filling it underneath the steel full of gas and when I let it kablooey. Well, we couldn't call it a Brazilian, what we call a hillbillion. Hillbillion down <laughs> bikini wax here. I no longer have any hair on this arm, and I think all but a couple of my eyelashes are gone. Now it's a burning, right? I can't see so good out of this eye no more. Huh. How many fingers am I holding is you sad? I ain't sad. I ain't sad. I'm just cooked. If you could see what I'd see, you'd be sad. <laughs> Liquor matrimonial moonshine. I don't know what it'll taste like, but I know one thing. I guarantee it'll get them drunk. Oh, yeah. Now, if some liquor just show up. It's just a waiting game, ain't it? That yep, right there. That's running slow, but no more liquor than we're going to make. I think that's perfect. We're going to run it as slow as we possibly can. I mean, it just has to drip out. The slower you run it, the less it burns your goes all out, and the better liquor it is. Oh, yeah, it's good liquor. Just a little bit of a nutty flavor there from them nuts that was in that one cake. I'd drink that all day long. It tastes just like cake. It's unreal. There at the front, there's coconut, and uh, at the very back, there's just a little finish with some of the walnuts that were in one of those cakes. It's not too sweet, but uh, uh, we'll syrup it up. There's seven and three quarters. That's nearly two gallons. Yep. <laughs> 